All right, so we have bought some of these CAD audio devices that let you input two XLR signals into your computer, and I want to show you how to use them. So um, they don't need power. They can pull power right off your computer, which is great. So the first thing you need to do is go to the back there, and you'll notice it has a USB-C port right there. Uh, here's a short USB-C cable. I'm going to plug that in. The next thing I'm going to do is come around to my computer here. And I'm going to plug it into one of my USB-C ports on my computer. As soon as I do that, you'll notice the red light turns on here. So we know it's powered. Um, <clears throat> This is a 58 dynamic mic. Um, it's great because it removes all the sound in the room when you're recording. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in with an XLR cable. So I'll plug that in like that. And then it plugs into the front of this box. So it's got two inputs. We're going to use the leftmost input. So I'll plug that in. That's going to be channel one on our computer. So uh, now over here on the computer, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's say I want to use Final Cut Pro to do this. Um, I'm going to pull up my record voiceover. Now it works really well with GarageBand, but sometimes we're using it for uh, movie voiceover. So I'm going to say record voiceover. And this window pops up. There's a bunch of different options here. You can see I have a Yeti microphone, which is connected to my computer right now, but the audio device we want to use is a CAD audio device. Now, if we're using just one channel of audio, we can do use this one. If we're using both, just the other input, it's channel two. Or if we're using both, it records both to channel one and two. Right now, I'm just using the leftmost port, XLR port, this port right here. And so that is channel one. All right. Uh, there are a few settings we can play with here um, the, to get uh, the audio where we want it. By default, it can be quite quiet. So what I'm going to do here, this is my gain knob over here. Um, and I suggest turning it. There's uh, a few markers here that says clip and signal, S-I-G. It's just to turn it a bit beyond the signal. If you turn it uh, too far, it can be a little loud. The other thing you can check in your computer here is you come into System Preferences, and from there we're going to go to uh, Sound, and then Input, and when you select the CAD audio device, you can see the input volume gain that the system is adding here. Right now it's at 100%. That's fine. Um, if you find it too loud, you can pull that back a bit. All right, let's come back over here. Um, to test to make sure it's working, I'm going to take the mic and just go tap, 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 and you can see it's jumping there. The nice thing about a dynamic mic is it really doesn't pick up anything that isn't right at the microphone. So you can see it jumping there. What we want to see is nice green bars in the record voiceover without it hitting red or yellow. When it hits red or yellow, it means that the sound is going to make that <laughs> distortion sound. Look, I made it happen. Or if I hit it, it should it should happen as well. Okay, and that makes that unpleasant sort of sound when we listen back to it. All right, so now I'm ready to do a voiceover recording in Final Cut. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can notice there's this input gain here as well, and that um, changes the system setting over here. So those two are tied together. So when I drag it there, it drags it over here as well. Okay, let's record. I am recording a voiceover with the CID audio interface. If you come over here to the box, if you're finding it's not quite loud enough, you can turn this clockwise to increase the, the gain on the microphone, and it'll get louder in your recording. I'm going to hit stop. So you can see uh, in the waveform there, it hit yellow and red a few times. Let's listen back. Phone and it'll get louder in your recording. I'm going to hit stop. OK, so it, it, it turned out great. Uh, that's how you use it. Um, thank you for watching.